So I'm going to do just a very quick video here to show you the Zone First MMP2 with the um, bypass eliminator checkout. <clears throat> First thing we would do is to check to make sure that our dampers are um, are connected to the right zone. So there's a little button on each zone, and uh, so we can drive the damper closed. And when we drive the damper closed, we get a red or a green light here. Or if we actually closed, we get a red light. <clears throat> when it's open, we have a green light. Then I can do the same thing to the second damper. So now I know my dampers are on the right zone. So I have my two thermostats right now. There's no call. They're both sitting there off with fan auto, and that's why these dampers are open. And you'll notice that all the lights are green. So I just come over here and I put it into a heat call. And while we're waiting here, um, this uh, board has a um, has a uh, test uh, terminal that uh, lets you lock out the um, the uh, time delays on the thermostats and on the board, and so it makes the fat checkout very quick. So I can see that my uh, heat call was wired correctly. Now I'm going to try a cool call. There we have a cooling call. You see I've got two green lights. My zone that is uh, calling has a green light there. The zone that's not calling has no light. So there you go. Heat cool. I'm going to go to off. Go to my second thermostat, and uh, we'll give that a heat and a cool and an off call, and we'll see if that was wired correctly. You notice that it is, so I'm getting a damper here. I can see my damper is closed. My first zone is open. I'm going to go to a cooling call now. Cooling call is accomplished. Two green lights. I've got a green light on the calling zone. No light on the non-calling zone. Go to off. Now my system, I know, is wired correctly. I've got the dampers on the right zones, and I have the um, and I have the thermostats are wired correctly. So now what I'm going to do is show how the bypass eliminator works. You'll notice that the the zone out cords here, the the RJ11 goes out from my uh, MMP2 into the in on the bypass eliminator and then the out goes from the bypass eliminator out to the uh, out to the dampers so if I'm going to simulate a call here we'll give this a a call in zone one this pitot tube here would be installed in the supply air plenum in a very nice and quiet spot usually right at the end uh, and not in front of a damper because if it's in front of a damper our uh, the bypass eliminator will will cause the uh, dampers to hurt hunt a little bit uh, or a lot so now what I'm going to do here is simulate uh, static pressure just by squeezing this and then you're going to see that the non-calling zone when I reach the uh, the low level here of 0.4 is going to start to crack. There you go. So once the once the uh, static pressure in the supply air plenum stabilizes, that damper stops moving, and that's where it stays. So now I am relieving air down the non-calling zone uh, in order to not have uh, built-up pressure. It's quite simple, and uh, it's quite an amazing uh, uh, step forward to. Uh, eliminate the need for a bypass system on a um, on a standard uh, unitary or even a heat pump uh, air conditioning system.